capillary dermal puncture via pipette. Examine the finger, or in newborn infants, this will be the heel, for the best puncture site. Clean the site with alcohol and let it air dry. Hold the finger firmly, pulling the skin tight, and perform the puncture at the tip of the fleshy pad, slightly to the side of the center. Discard the lancet into the sharps container. The first drop of blood is wiped away with a dry, sterile gauze. Allow a well-rounded second drop of blood to form at the puncture site. Holding the capillary tube at a horizontal angle, gently touch the end of it to the drop of blood on the finger. The tube will fill by capillary action. Allow it to fill two-thirds to three-quarters full, keeping it at an angle. Place one of your fingers over the end of the tube to keep the blood from coming back out. Carefully wipe the residue of blood off the end of the tube that touched the drop of blood at the puncture site with a dry sterile gauze. Gently place the end of the tube in the sealing clay tray. Dispose of gauze and cotton balls, gloves, and mask in the biohazard container. Place the filled tubes into either the urine cup and screw the cap on, or the red tube and replace the red stopper. Then label the cup or the tube. Accurately document the procedure and complete the laboratory requisition in the presence of the patient. Check the patient's puncture site, answer any questions the patient may have, and release them. Follow your lab manual instruction for processing or pickup of the specimens.